What's up guys? Chaz. Charlie. And today I want to discuss quit using anxiety as an excuse to abuse weed. You know, a, a comment stuck out. Well, not just one comment. This really a, actually a quite common comment on people say, you know, well, I just... I just smoke weed to ease my anxiety, to take the edge off of work. And we say this a lot with weed specifically, like, you know, that's exclusive to just weed. You know, and I thought real hard about it, and I'm like, isn't that the reason for any substance? Like, if you are an alcoholic, nobody starts off and again let, let, let me i'm talking about people not just anyone who just smokes weed just every now and then but people who have to smoke weed on a daily basis in order to live okay for those people okay you didn't start off needing weed every day just like an alcoholic they don't start off needing a drink every day if you're on narcotics you don't start off needing the drug every day usually when you start it's usually to take the edge off to i mean you might can argue that like if you are um using a narcotic you may you just you just want to try something new or you're curious about the effects of it but in most cases whether it's alcohol or narcotics you're trying to take the edge off you're usually trying to numb yourself from something numb yourself from something else that's going oops dead squirrel you're trying to numb yourself from something else that's going on a lot of times when we get addicted to alcohol you know there's deeper traumatic issues there's childhood trauma there's displeasure with your life there's abuse there's sexual trauma there's many things that you're using this to try to block out certain thoughts block out certain feelings ease certain feelings again with the idea of anxiety we act like anxiety is this you know, disease or this out of the ordinary thing when anxiety is normal. It's not. And due to media and I suppose the medical uh, community has made anxiety like, made people think anxiety is this special thing. Like, oh, like you have a disorder if you have anxiety anxiety is so normal everybody has everybody has anxiety you're going to always have anxiety but there's no excuse to numb yourself or take the edge off if you say i'm sure people like i say who become alcoholics they start drinking because they want to take the edge off ease anxiety ease the depression it's not like they want to i want to just full on get drunk I mean the more you the more you tend to use the more you need the more you need the the higher the dosage the higher the strength until you know you do become a drunk but isn't that the reason for any substance to ease anxiety to ease your depression so i just find it weird or funny that you know people tend to say well you know i just smoke weed to cure my anxiety okay duh i mean you can say that you like the feeling that weed gives you i mean i personally i would say when i was smoking weed i mean there wasn't i think when you start to smoke weed every day is not because anxiety you smoke weed because you like the feeling of getting high a lot of times we don't like to just admit 
we like the feeling of being high. We want to say, well, I have a condition or it helps me with this. No, you just like being high. Even with people like, you know, that have eating disorders or who are like 600 pounds, rarely do they admit that, you know, they just like food. They just like food. They like how it tastes. They'll say, oh, I'm an emotional eater or... Or, you know, I use food to ease the pain. No, you just like to eat a lot of food. You think food good. You like how it tastes. Why can't we just say that? Why must me? Why must we use a medical or mental condition to almost take responsibility over or make it seem like you're not just indulging in your desire choice of um desire choice of substance or whatever but a lot of times we just like getting high but it makes us feel better or makes us feel less like an addict if we say i use it for my anxiety i use it for my depression like you know if you are feeling bad about an issue let's say you you know lost your job and you not even let's not even let's not even go that extreme let's just say you had a bad day at work or you had a busy day at work you dealt with a lot of crazy customers you'll say well i need to smoke to take the anxiety off i think that's like you know maybe a common excuse people may use when you know let's just say you're used to smoking weed and you like being high. Now, I'm sure some people do admit to that. They just like being high. But, again, with the medical system, it just made everybody just throw up this excuse and ignore, like, their responsibility. Why we just blame it on a mental or a physical issue that we really either don't have or is just, like, something normal. So, you know, quit using anxiety excuse that you want to, like, smoke weed every day. Because, I mean, I've said this in the past, you're always going to have anxiety. You're always, it's always going to be a case where you don't have a good day at work. it always be a case where you may get into it with your spouse. You may get into it with a family member. You may be... Not at ease about your current status at your job or you want to pursue a different career or a different hobby or, you know, people driving to work just may piss you off because they cut you off or you had a record. These things are always going to happen. So to say that, you know, that's the reason for me to smoke weed, you know, can we just say, well, maybe I'm just, you know, mentally weak and I don't want to handle things on my own because as a successful human I think we should be aiming to take these daily challenges and learn to handle them not with the help of a substance because when we tend to do that for a long period of time day after day before we know it we are a addict and you know just because with we just because you're not an alcoholic or because you're not a crackhead doesn't mean that you're not an addict and i guess a weed head sounds you know cooler or sound not 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 as bad as saying i'm an alcoholic but it is what it is and i just i'm starting not to like when people say that you know i smoke weed because i just you know i i want to eat i smoke weed to ease my depression no shit sherlock or, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe you're lying. Maybe you just want to smoke weed because you just like getting high and you've just been smoking weed for five, ten years and you don't know how to stop. So, let's just be real with ourselves. Let's be truthful with ourselves. Let's quit allowing the media to control what we say, what we think, and excuses that we make for our everyday habits. So, yeah, guys, I just want to briefly hop on here. You know, what do you guys feel? Do you feel like, you know, do you smoke because of your anxiety or your depression? Or you just smoke because you like to be real and just, you know, you just like getting high. And you just, you know, can't think of going a day without 
not being stoned off weed. But whatever the case, guys, let me know what you think, how you feel. Comment below. Until next time, like, subscribe, share. Again, please comment below. I want to know what you think. Until next time, guys, we are all in this together. Peace.